Hello, language arts students. It's Mrs. Peterson. I am recovering slow but sure. I'm actually in the school right now doing my radio show, which I have not done in two weeks. And um, I had a two hour nap today. So that was nice. Um, sometimes I'm feeling pretty good and then I push it and do stuff that I'm not supposed to do. And then I get really exhausted again and feel pain. Uh, so um, there is usually uh, once or twice a day that I am in pretty excruciating pain. And um, it's, just, it's probably a good reminder um, so that I am not making stupid decisions while lying around the house. I'm not supposed to be doing any cleaning. Um, I can't uh, do any bending and things like that. So I don't know. I have to go to the doctor tomorrow, so I'll have a better idea of when I'm coming back after that. So I hope things are going well for you, and I hope that you are uh, paying attention to Mr. Bartlett so that I do not have to uh, have carry out consequences when I get back. <coughs> I'm assuming that's not happening, but... Uh, I'll, I'll find out when I come back. Okay? Um, Matt and Kate, how's baseball going? Sorry, I haven't got a chance to see you. I was actually going to come to that um, that game where you scrimmaged with JV1, and um, I then they called for rain. So I was, like, on the Weather Channel all day, and um, see, I can I can sit and watch, but the problem is, Coming to school, I'm probably not just going to sit, you know what I mean? So, anyway, I am very much looking forward to hearing how that's been going. And um, the rest of you, I'm very interested to find out what books you picked for your individual novel and how you're liking those. Remember, if you're reading a book right now that you hate, you should not be reading it. So please talk to Mr. Bartlett or Miss Thole and um, see if you can get a better fit. We still have, I don't know, what is it, about six weeks left? And so... Um, sorry, that little interruption there, but, um, yeah, you don't want to be sitting here for the next six weeks reading a book that you don't like. You have to get through it. It's required in order for you to pass. You need to finish the book from term three. A couple people didn't quite do that. And the one from term four. All right. And that last week, you're going to already need to be done with your book. So really five weeks. Okay. All right, so utilize time during fifth hour if you're running behind on a book and just, like I said, talk to Ms. Thole or Mr. Bartlett uh, about picking something that you're actually going to like. Um, okay, so you know about the field trips now, and Ms. Thole's been running around like a chicken with her head cut off to uh, rearrange things because the doctor said um, that it's probably going to be a little bit longer than we projected with me coming back. And so... Um, we switch things around, as you know. So some of you still need to get your, your sheets in. So please do that, all right? Please make sure you get your permission slip sheets in because the first field trip is on the 20th, and you need to have it returned by then. Otherwise, you're not going. And, you know, we're going to do some cooking out on that day, and hopefully it's going to be a nice, warm, enjoyable day. But you will not be there if you um, haven't done that. So also uh, make sure that you keep an eye on the children's book that you're going to be reading so that it doesn't get lost because sometimes that just sort of happens where it gets put somewhere else or somebody else is using it and they move it to another classroom. So just kind of keep an eye on your stuff. Maybe keep it in your bin. Make sure, again, that Ms. Thole knows if there are any overlaps between books that are being read in two different classes, okay? Um, and practice your book because you're going to be reading it to a kid. So make sure that when you're reading it, you're reading it like you would read it to a little kid, okay? So when you're practicing to one of your friends or when you're practicing like in your head, or when you're practicing quietly to yourself in class, um, get animated, you know? Uh, if, a, if a character is reading, if a character is like holding a balloon that flies up into the sky, don't be like, Aaron said, I am very surprised. Look, I'm floating in the sky. No, if Aaron floated into the sky, he'd be like, Aaron said, wow, I'm really surprised. I'm floating into the sky. Okay, so get animated, all right? Maybe not quite as animated as me, but maybe, right? There's some of you that, you're a little goofy, right? Get after it. All right, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, Faith, you're one of them, okay? All right, uh, so 
Uh, just remember that you are actually going to be reading to a student, and um, and we are going to be going to the library. When we go to the library, your job is going to be, and it's a grade, okay? So you have to do it, and it's a big grade because it's important to us, is to look through the books at the library and find some things that you think would be good to add to our library or maybe books that you might enjoy reading over the summer for a summer reading list, okay? Because we are going to be doing something with that, so you don't want to blow off that assignment, and it is really big. And so if you're just sitting at the library, like running around like a ding-dong talking and laughing and not writing anything down, or option B, writing down junk just so you have stuff on there, it's going to blow up in your face. Trust me, okay? I'm not kidding. Um, so use the time when we're at the library. Just plan on it. Get yourself prepared mentally that you are going to actually be looking for books that you find interesting that you actually might read. Don't pick a thousand page book because I don't know any of you that would be interested in reading a thousand page book. I wouldn't be interested in reading a thousand page book unless maybe it was about the Wisconsin State Fair. But let's not digress. All right. So um, I will let Miss Thole know. And like I said, be good to Miss Thole and be good to Mr. Bartlett. And I'll be back soon. Take it easy. Bye.